This video is your official instructions on how to use the Ghost Gamer 2.0. Thank you for your purchase of the Ghost Gamer 2.0. Like the first Ghost Gamer, it's a tool to help you learn to aim your cut shots. It's called a Ghost Gamer because it's a replacement for a Ghost Ball. Ghost Ball is a simple concept that's been around for a long time. It simply is a, another ball that you would place next to the ball you're trying to pocket and you line up the centers of those two balls with the pocket. Now you just aim the cue ball at the center of the ghost ball, and that should make the ball. So you can look at that and then take the ghost ball away and shoot. The problem with the ghost ball is sometimes it's hard to tell where the center is, and you can't see the object ball through the ghost ball. That's why the ghost aimer is made of transparent plastic, so you can see through it. It's the exact diameter of a pool ball. You just place it at the ghost ball position. Now you can see where the center of the ghost aimer is. It's, it's a painted line, green and red line. You can also look through the ghost aimer and see where that line intersects the object ball. So you get a much better sight picture of what you need to do to pocket this ball. With that information, now when you remove the ghost aimer, it's much easier to reacquire that aim point and learn how to pocket this ball consistently. Your Ghost Aimer 2.0 has three functions. Aim point locator, cut angle estimator, and a fractional ball scale. I've already explained the aim point locator. Let's take a look at the cut angle estimator. On the top of your aimer, there's an outside ring and an inside ring that rotates. On the outside ring is an arrow and the degrees of cut angle. The center line is zero, then there's a 30 and a 60 degree mark to each side, and that's for whether you're cutting the ball to the left or to the right. So when you place your uh, ghost aimer in the ghost ball position, you line the outside arrow through the center of the object ball at the pocket. Then you can just use one finger to hold it in place while you rotate the inside. And you want to rotate the inside arrow to point at the cue ball. When the inside arrow is pointed at the cue ball, it's also pointed at the degree scale on the outside ring and gives you an estimate of the cut angle of the shot. For example, here the arrow is pointed at 30 degrees. We know that a 30 degree cut shot is a half ball hit. And sure enough, if you sight from the cue ball through the center line, you'll see that the center line lines up with the edge of the object ball. And that's a great reference when you're learning your cut shots because there are thick and thin cut shots. Thick cut shots are from straight in, which would be zero degrees, that would be over here, to 30 degrees. And at every point of a thick cut shot, you're aiming your cue stick through the cue ball at the object ball. When the cut angle gets to be greater than 30 degrees, like this, I'll turn the center arrow to point at the cue ball. It's always going to indicate greater than 30 degrees when my cue, when the center line that I'm aiming at, my aim point, is past the edge of the object ball. So anything greater than 30 degrees is what we would call a thin cut shot. The third function of your Ghost Aimer 2.0 is the fractional ball scale. The original Ghost Aimer had a ball scale 2, which was a sticker placed on the curved surface of the aimer, and it works just fine. This one's a little bit more convenient to use because rather than a sticker, we have uh, dual color lines. There's a bright green and a dark red. The purpose of that is so that the lines will be visible whether you're in front of a, bar a light colored ball or a dark colored ball. It also helps to be able to see the cloth through the ghost aimer and the two tone lines will also show up whether you have a light colored cloth like a beige or a dark colored cloth like a darker blue or red or purple. The purpose of the fractional ball scale is to help you estimate the fraction of ball width that you're aiming past center or past the edge of the ball. There are three lines to each side of the center line, creating eight segments across the width of the aimer. So each line represents one-eighth of a ball width. Let's take a look at an example. We'll set up this cut shot, and I'm going to point the uh, 
arrow the ghost steamer at 15 degrees and make sure the cue ball is right there. So now, if we sight through the cue ball, we're going to see two lines past the center line up with the edge of the ghost ball. So two spaces is one quarter. So the aim point is one quarter of a ball diameter from this edge. So you can use that information to help you once the ghost steamer is removed, you know that you need to point your cue stick one quarter of a ball diameter in from the edge of the object ball, and that's your aim point. It works the same when you have a thin cut shot. You align the inside arrow to the cue ball. Now you can see that the center line is past the edge of the object ball. So you look from the center line to the edge of the object ball and see where that lies on the ball scale and that tells you the fraction of a ball width that you need to aim past the edge of the object ball. Your ghost aimer is a tool to help you get accurate information about where the aim point is so you can stop guessing. With that information you're going to be able to learn to identify your cut shots faster and how to adjust for the effects of throw or which part of the pocket you're aiming at. I hope you enjoy your Ghost Aimer 2.0. Send me feedback at bob at shortstoponpool.com. Remember, if you're going to play pool, play it straight. Have fun.